Let me turn to an experience I had about a week ago uh, in Mexico City. Uh, it was a Sunday before last. I met along with a number of my bipartisan and bicameral colleagues with President Lopez Obrador in Mexico, something you've done on several occasions. Um, I indicated to him that we had work to do in the United States on keeping guns from crossing the border going south, that we needed to do more to help prevent uh, and reduce the use of drugs in the United States. But if we, uh, as we pursued those um, plans of action, could the president, President Obador, do more to encourage and, in fact, insist I hope the word I would use is demand China to uh, eliminate the precursor chemicals coming from China to Mexico before they then cross the border to the United States. He indicated he would formally request that China take action to reduce exportation of fentanyl precursors. Uh, I think that is a promising development. Uh, the fact remains that cooperation between our two countries on law enforcement matters are extremely important. They are also significantly strained. Uh, the Drug Enforcement Administration remains severely constrained in its operational capabilities in Mexico. Um, excuse me while I turn the page slowly. One of the most significant lessons for me during that, uh, uh, that trip to Mexico was just how critical it is that we work to improve coordination and cooperation on law enforcement matters. Your first foreign visit to the, uh, as U.S. Attorney was to Mexico. You visited again there just uh, about two and a half months ago. Yesterday, NBC News reported that we may be close to a major agreement with the government of Mexico to address both the flow of fentanyl and illegal firearms trafficking. General, what is your assessment of the state of U.S.-Mexico cooperation on law enforcement? Uh, can you provide me any information about such a, a potential or near agreement? And um, uh, I, I guess I'll follow up depending upon what your answers are. Um, so uh, I can't really say about a, a pending agreement um, um, uh, about those discussions, um, but I, I think I, I would uh, align myself with every single thing that you said uh, with respect to your visit to Mexico and, and your concerns. Uh, look, the way fentanyl in particular travels is it comes, uh, it begins with uh, precursor sales uh, from uh, China uh, to Mexico. Uh, in Mexico, um, it's made uh, into fentanyl, either uh, powder or pills, and crosses the border and then it's transmitted through our, our communities. Uh, the main runners are the uh, Jalisco um, uh, and the Sinaloa cartels. Uh, we need Mexico at every stage to act. We need Mexico to destroy the labs uh, um, with, uh, with respect to which we've had some success. The last time I, I went to Mexico, right before I went, they destroyed major labs. Uh, we need them to crack down on the cartels. We need them uh, to crack down on the precursor uh, purchases of precursor chemicals by Mexican companies and the sales by the Chinese. Uh, likewise, we need to um, uh, 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 put as much pressure on China as we can uh, to not make those sales. Um, the Treasury Department uh, has recently uh, issued sanctions against some of the uh, precursor chemical um, uh, dealers in, Me in um, um, China. Um, we think that's a, a useful way um, to cut off some of that, and uh, I know that Treasury will be doing more in that respect. I also agree that uh, the United States has responsibilities to prevent the transshipment of arms from the United States to the cartels in Mexico. Uh, as, as we saw in a, in a very recent arrest of some of the cartel leaders, uh, the, uh, the Mexican military was almost outgunned um, by the uh, weaponry that the cartels now have. So I think I would align myself with everything that you've said. Uh, Mr. General, Attorney General, uh, thank you for your answer. My time has expired. If you need resources or tools that this committee can help provide, please let us know. And uh, I would ask you to specifically work to repair the relationship between uh, the Mexican government and the uh, DEA. Thank you.